EFN Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday. Two hours left to go in the trading day, and we got quite a positive market so far. Dow Jones up 134 points, about half a percent, trading 26,645. S&P's up 25 points, almost 9 tenths percent, trading at 29.32. NASDAQ up 100 points on the dot, up 1.2 percent. That's trading at 8,115. And the Russell leading the way up to almost 25 points, more than a percent and a half on the day. Russell 2000 trading 15.84. So we start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So all the charts trading higher throughout basically the entire day. We've had a bit of a pullback just since in the last two hours or so. We reached a high in the Dow of 26,687. You're only talking about 50 points off that high. 26,000. 638 currently in the Dow. NASDAQ 100, no pullback at all. 78.23, we've been hanging at these levels for basically two hours. S&Ps, much the same. 29.35, we reach a high of 29.39 just after noon Eastern time. From there, we've just kind of been hanging out at these levels. Crude oil with some volatility spiking higher to a high of $66.59. Higher gas prices coming at us, $66.24 currently in crude. Gold contract struggling a bit as it has been lately, $12.73 in the price of gold. Had dipped below $12.70 briefly on a couple occasions this morning. And Euro US dollar, Euro trading lower from most of the early morning session, reaching a low at about 10.30 this morning. 112.12 in the price of that euro. In terms of what else you have happening out there, big day of earnings. We're jumping around. Twitter started off this morning quite a number as they beat expectations almost across the board. Twitter up 15.85% currently, trading at almost $40, briefly above that $40 price point. Staying with social media, we get Snapchat after the bell. Snapchat on the heels of that. Twitter beat Snapchat up about 4.5% as they expect their earnings. What else you have happening out there? How about Kohl's making a deal with Amazon where they are going to be able, to, you're going to be able to return any item from Amazon to a Kohl's store. They're already running this in about 100 stores nationwide. That's going to be all stores, all 1,100 Kohl's. Liking that, as you should. Any type of partnership with Amazon usually benefits up more than 10%, quite a number. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up right now. Then we got Larry Pezzavento filling in live at 3, Basil Chapman live at 4. Have a great Tuesday.